The school, which is located at the Addison Gate in the Etosha National Park, accommodates about 400 learners. Most of them are children of the staff working at the Okokweo camp as well as farmers outside the park. After government's introduction of inclusive, free, universal primary and secondary education, Okokweo School's principal Erastu Shipahu expressed his happiness that the school had managed to enroll more children compared to the previous years. However, the high dropout rate among learners from the Hain Om community and children living on adjacent farms is a matter of concern. Our learners, when they come to grade 8, 9, they, they tend to lose interest in school. And the, one of the contributing factors, I can say, is this uh, farm work. I mean, they get jobs, they go back to the farms. And the other one is uh, discipline. You know, our learners are not exposed. We are, we are like in a closed system. Uh, we are very far from other schools, and therefore the lack of exposure has caused our learners to misbehave. The principal also expressed lack of parental support as a contribution factor towards the dropout. There are times that parents feel it's unnecessary to call them, let's just punish the learners. Or some of the parents when they come here, they even start to confront supporting the behavior of the child. And uh, these are some of the ch challenges that we tackle during parent meetings uh, to inform them that they are important partners in education. Without them, the school cannot achieve anything. The school has a hostel and accommodates learners from surrounding areas, while those living in the Okokweo camp are transported daily by bus.